Hello and welcome back to the Craft Box. My name is Brent, and today we are getting the Celestial Calendar spell on my myth. You made decent time for once. Time, you see, is what I wish to speak to you about. You are due for a new spell, the Celestial Calendar. This is no mere conjured beast. It represents the force of time itself. Some specialized components are required for you to learn this spell, which means that your future contains a trip to Avalon. Friar Nolan is no doubt known to you. Seek him out in Caliburn and ask for the pieces of the Wheel of the Sun. What's that? Ah, the Wheel of the Sun is an Aztecan sundial that somehow ended up in Avalon. Return here when you have those pieces. Right, let us head over to Caliburn. Um, so this is technically the last spell that we learned from um, Cyrus, which is very sad. Very, very sad. The next spell, quest-wise, is uh, which is House Call, which is at level 108. Um, but obviously, with the test drum stuff, we'll actually be heading back to Cyrus to get a couple more spells. Um, but hey, not yet. We're still in live realm, so no test drum, new spell things yet, but soon anyway. Um, so yeah, last spell from Cyrus. Very sad, much sadness. Greetings, fair visitor. You've come for the pieces of that Aztecan sundial I was translating? I have unfortunate news. The pieces of the sundial were taken by a thief, a ruffian named Merowyn Othervale. She's plagued these parts for some time. Merwin and her ilk hold fast in Vortigern's Tower, on the high road. Recover the pieces of the Wheel of the Sun and bring them back to me. I will seek out the codex that shows how to assemble them. In other words, young... Oh. We don't want your side quests. In other words, he does just want us to defeat this person because she's been... Or yeah, she has been, you know being mean to everybody that's the only reason why she didn't actually steal the sundial that's my honest opinion of the matter but hey we'll we'll see maybe she did who knows who knows i think it's this tower here this one right here i'm thinking yeah it is there's a blue light blue lights are cool we love blue lights right i think she's balanced i think what's this boys a lowly thief come to steal from us bandits not today. Let's send him back home crying. Okie dokie. I don't think that's going to happen, buddy. But hey, you can try. Um, We're not even going to use faints. Whatever. She doesn't have that much health. 12,920. Not too bad. A simple authoress with a whole bunch of blades will be able to do the job. Um, I have got sharpened blade, which is very handy. I've been missing it for so long. I just hadn't gone and done it. Then last night, I'm like, you know what? We're going to do it. We're going to sit down and we're going to get sharpened blade. And I finally did it. And it only took me two tries, surprisingly, to do that boss. Um, Clement Morgan or whatever whatever the name of that monkey is. We don't like the monkey. The monkey is insane. We don't like him. Um, but yeah, it only took me a few tries, which is not too bad. I did have to summon a minion, though. Um, Vasanji, very useful. Very, very useful in that fight. Managed to take some aggro and actually tank a lot of the hits. Very useful. I was actually quite surprised how well that fight went. I was very worried. The first time was absolute train wreck. I got absolutely destroyed. Um, I didn't pack any heals. So that was probably the reason. Oh no, I'm going to fizzle now. This is so rude. Why have you done this to me? Why? Why? Watch me fizzle this. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I always fizzle spirit blades. I don't know what it is about spirit blades. They have 100% accuracy. But whenever on any character i go on if i ever get a we uh, mantle and i try and do a spirit blade or something always fizzles and i don't understand why just always it's so annoying <laughs> so annoying it's the worst ever what is this what is this okay that's a fizzle that's good that's good we're actually not taking too much damage which i'm really happy about um we're gonna spirit blade into a reliquary into authoress and that should kill hopefully fingers crossed should we we do have a decent amount of damage so most likely we'll kill if it doesn't that's going to be very sad very very sad um but yeah at the time of i'm recording this which is before i finish off Azteca today um 
we're, we're we're not quite finished with Azteca, but we're finishing it today. And if you want to see more of this character, um, my second channel has literally every single, not every single part, but a lot of the parts of where I've been questing on stream. Um, so I would highly recommend you go subscribe to my second channel so you can see that, or go follow me on Twitch so you know when I go live, because we quest this character every other week, um, alternating with my Fire Wizard, who's also basically at the same spot. Um, so yeah, that's pretty fun, but lots of lots of cool stuff that we do questing wise it's actually quite relaxing going through the game again without listening to dialogue i have to say it's very very relaxing and i understand why people do it now i'm doing it on a couple characters at the moment and it's just so nice not having to you know worry about the dialogue and you know it's just relaxing and i, I don't think i've felt that in such a long time man gnomes takes forever jeez they should have fixed gnomes, honestly, in Test Drum. They should have made gnomes a little bit quicker. Because it takes forever. Oh, we could blade. Oh, do I get greedy? We're going to be greedy. We're going to be greedy because I'm a greedy guy. We're going to be greedy. Get another blade. And then we're going to hit. And we're definitely going to kill. I'm just slightly worried because we don't have faint him. Because who would use faint when you can just not use faint? You know? Okay, mana burn. That's fine. That's fine, I guess. We'll, we'll deal with that. We'll just author us. We'll just author us. We got a little bit greedy, but it's fine. We still had the pips to hit, which is good. Very good. Right, hopefully Doggo kills. Please, maybe, maybe. Crit. Yes, lovely. One, two, three, four blades. Love to see it. How much is this doing? 10,000? Okay, 16. Yeah, this overkill. This overkill by a lot because it's got boost as well. Oof. Yeah, that was, um... That was a little bit overkill. That did his health before nerf. Jeez. Man. Oh, it was a good run. I don't think it was, but whatever. We'll we'll take your word for it. Oh, she did actually steal this the wheel. This must be the wheel of the sun. You bundle the pieces together. Now back to Friar Nolan for the instructions. Right. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. She did actually steal the wheel. Wow. I'm surprised. I thought he just wanted us to defeat her because... She had, he had something against her. You never know. I wouldn't be surprised, honestly, if one day that happened. They're just like, hey, by the way, I hate this person. Can you please destroy them real quick? Excellent. I have the Tonalt Zintle Codex right here. It includes the directions for reassembling the Wheel of the Sun and for using it to summon the Celestial Calendar. Young f Stop talking to me. Arr, we don't like you. We only use you for spell. That is all. We don't need anything else from you, Friar Nolan. Not on this character, at least. Maybe other characters where I care about side quests, but not here. We don't like side quests. Side quests, I'm allergic to those. <laughs> uh, right, let's head over to Cyrus. And I think we've got one little more thing, just a trip to Azteca. And then we're done, which is pretty cool. Luckily, we can port over there, which is good. Because I have a mark. I was prepared. No, it's actually for stream tonight, but I was still prepared. Very prepared. Right. Do you have the Wheel of the Sun in pieces? Ah, but you have the Codex from Friar Nolan. Very well, then. With the Wheel of the Sun and the Tonal Sintli Codex... We have all we need to summon the Celestial Calendar. Go to Azteca where the calendar was made. Reassemble the Wheel of the Sun somewhere appropriate, such as in the Zocalo. Yes, the Zocalo will do. There is a short avenue flanked by pillars, the Plaza del Oro. That should serve you well enough. I've copied the relevant summons from the Tonalt Sintli Codex. You should be off, unless you have something better to do. Oof, Cyrus, still sassy as always. We're gonna miss you, buddy. We're gonna miss you. Right, let's head back to Azteca. We just have to take a wee little bit of a moment to, you know, teleport twice, but it's fine. It's all part of the plan. It's part of my master plan of how to win. How to win spell quests. <laughs> because, yes, they are definitely something you can win. Look, it's a celestial calendar. But not our celestial calendar. Where are we going? Just over here. This must be the place. Time to put the wheel of the sun together. Oop. The wheel turns.
terms. Fullness is replaced by need, and need is filled with fullness. And this, too, will pass. Amazing. Look at that. Whoa. Really cool. Right, let's go back to Cyrus real fast. And get our spell. The last one from him. Except until the test drum updates. And then we get two more spells, which will be cool. Probably won't use them as much, but we'll get two more. It's all very good. <laughs> very, very good. But unfortunately, there's no quest for them. You just learn them. Just learn them the old way of actually clicking on the trainer and going train spell. Imagine doing that. Who does that anymore? I really wish they would do some more, like, school spells. Especially from the Arcanum. That would be cool. But hey, apparently not. I sense you have had a glimpse of the future. Did you like what you saw? Come now. I will teach you to summon the Celestial Calendar again when you need to. Fantastic. Celestial Calendar is now ours. Love to see it. It's a 10 pip spell. It does 930 to 990 myth damage. And it steals a pip. Has 80 accuracy. Pretty cool. Really, really, really cool spell. And I'm definitely going to be using it. Um, because I love it. It's honestly one of the reasons why I made a Myth Wizard to start with. This spell is one of my favorites in the game. So yeah, that is all for today. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have subscribed, press the wee little bell so you know exactly when I post another video. And as always, remember to craft outside the box.